thy sins. If thou shalt confess thy sins, he, God, is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness, Isaiah 1.18. God wants you to come to Him. God wants to sit down with you in reason. And the end result that God wants from you is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to confess your sins and be washed. Behold the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. And that sin is singular. It's not plural. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world is all sin. Anything that you have done, anything you haven't done, everything that your neighbor has done. There is no sin that God can't wash. No vileness that God can't look upon and say, I forgive you. Don't you ever think, don't you ever believe Satan's lie. I am too vile for God to look upon me. I am just too wicked that God cannot save me. That's a lie from hell. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. If thou shalt confess thy sins, he is just and faithful to forgive. What must I do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It's that simple. A five-year-old can believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. A six-year-old can believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. It's so simple men reject it because they think it ought to be more complex. And it's not. It's as simple as bringing your sins to Jesus, repenting of your sins with a contrite heart, not wanting to go to hell, but believing what God has set forth for you to do. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make Him a liar. And His Word is not in us. If you profess that you've never sinned, let me talk to your wife for a few minutes. If you profess that you've never sinned, let me talk to your children for three seconds. If you profess not to sin, you've never sinned. The wages of sin is death. That means you're never going to die. Do you have life insurance, my friend? A person who has never sinned doesn't need life insurance. Because the wages of sin is death. The fact is you're going to die is you're a sinner. And Christ came to save sinners. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life because I have believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. I am not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power that gave me salvation. I know when I die where I'm going. These things have I written unto you that you may know you have eternal life. If you don't know where you're going to go when you take your breath, that last breath, you need to get on your knees alone with God. You need to come to God and reason with God. Because you may have a scarlet trouble. You may not be washed in the Lamb. Because being washed in the Lamb means you have a surety. You know. These things are, these things are written. It's in, the, it's in the Bible. It's written. And the salvation of, that John speaks about, the salvation 
person that's in the Bible is Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ alone. Listen, death is coming. You don't know when it's going to happen. Death is sure. Death is not something we look forward to, but it, it's coming. And doctors can't save you. Prescriptions can't save you. You can't save you. But Christ can save you. Yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil. How's your deathbed testimony going to be? I don't want to talk about it. you got to talk about it. It may be today. Your death may be any moment right now. As this truck has almost hit these people. Listen, as far as the drivers, you better get yourself right with God right away because you don't know how bad these drivers drive. Listen, there were some people who went to the beach last week and woke up in eternity. There are people that have to-do lists today. You may never finish that to-do list. The next time you lay your head down, it may be in a coffin. It is now. Behold, now is the day of salvation. It's not a thing to put off. You may not have tomorrow. What is man's life but a vapor, a shadow? The wages of sin is death, and you don't know when that time is. And if you die without Christ, you will burn in hell. Because you have rejected the free gift of God. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. It's a point unto man once to die, but after this, the judgment. The Bible says, prepare to meet thy God. I don't care if you don't believe in God. You're going to meet Him one day, and you're going to stand face to face to Him. And Matthew tells us, you will give an account of every idle word that you've spoken. And the worst thing that can happen to man as he's standing before God at the judgment is when God has opened all the books in your life. And whosoever is not found written in the Lamb's book of life, imagine God, my friend, listen up, listen up. Imagine God telling you to go to hell. And that's forever. It may be a curse here. Go to hell may be a curse on this planet. But imagine the eternal God, the holy God, telling you, my friend, because you rejected Jesus, go to hell. And you can never get out. He that hath the Son hath life. Let me, let me open to John 3 and read that one properly. I don't want to misquote that one. John chapter 3. John chapter 3. John chapter 3. Verse 36. He that believeth on the Son hath ever lasting life. What must I do to have everlasting life? Believe on the Son. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth on Him shall not perish, but shall have everlasting life. By the way, as you walk away from the Gospel today, you are without excuse. You can't tell God, I never knew, I never had any idea, I didn't know what to do. God will bring this loud mouth preacher in your presence and say, I sent that guy to tell you what to do. I come here to tell you exactly what God prepared once for you. You can never say, I never knew, I never found out, I, 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 I. But it also says, He that 
believe it's not the Son, shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. You know what the wrath of God is? The lake of fire. Why? Because you have not believed on the Son. People are in hell today because of their rejection of God's free gift. That's it. There are no adulterers in hell. There are no thieves in hell. There are no liars in hell. There are Christ rejectors in hell. That's who is in hell. You reject Jesus Christ and God will put you in a place of torment. Because it is free today. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Saved from what? The wrath of God. God knows you don't want to burn. God knows you don't want to be in damnation. And God said, I will give them my son. I will give him the gospel to bring to the people. I will give his sinless, his blood, that is God's blood, Acts 28, 2028, 20, to wash their sins away that nothing else can do. For Christ died for our sins. He was buried according to the Scriptures, and arose the third day according to Scriptures, and is seated at the right hand of the Father right now. What must you do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Not man. Not chemicals. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. A name that's above all names. There is no other name under heaven whereby man must be saved. Right? Acts 4.12 For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through Him might be saved. Salvation. You, the world, salvation for you is Him, Jesus. Don't turn away. God says, come. But for too many of you... Thank you, sir. Appreciate it, brother. For, you, for some of you here, the next time you see me, be at the great white throne, you say, I wish I had listened. I wish I would have heard those words. I wish I had believed on your preaching. And the final words you will hear from God will be something like, I don't know, but something like, Go to hell. Lake of fire. Death and hell were cast in the lake of fire. Hell's there. It's not something to be taken lightly. It's a free gift. Man, if I put a table here with free Budweiser, you all come running. <laughs> if I had free dancing girls, all you men would come right over here and enjoy it. If I had free music, free dance, you all come over. If I had free tomatoes, you all come over and get my tomatoes. But if I offer you a free gift, the gospel, you just reject it. Well, I have planted a seed. Maybe somebody else is watered, or will water. Maybe inside your heart later on you'll say, uh, maybe I should have listened to him. Maybe I should have came out. I don't know what to do. I'll tell you what to do. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. That's right. You mean, 
Uh, no cash? No check? No? Nope. I'm not here for your money. I'm here for you to repent and turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. Get saved. I got to go to my church? No. When it comes to salvation, stay away from the church. Go to a man. The man Christ Jesus. Pilate said, Behold the man. What shall I do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved.